to my channel welcome back to my channel it's cheating my favor if it's your first time of calling across my channel thank you so much subscribe and press follow button we're making this simple kaftan gown okay the purpose for this video is to learn how to put that front slit and lay your velvet bias okay if this is what you like to watch let's dive into the video i'm working with an ankara fabric and this fabric is going to have a lining i'm going to add a lining to it and a velvet bias this bias is about five in five years depending on the length of your client anyway so without wasting time let's go ahead and lay the fabric for cotton i've laid down the fabric using the actual length of my client and i'm going to cut the front first and then i'll cut the back mind you that this cloth doesn't have any zipper allowance first i'm going to take about one one inch from the beginning to the end at the folded edge of this cloth i'm just going to take one inches okay this one inch is for the front slit you want the slit to be very neat okay please if you notice any sound i'm so sorry because i traveled to the village okay first i've drawn my shoulder line as we always do okay making sure your fabric is well aligned all right after that the next thing i'm going to do is to take all across body measurements all right please mind you that your measurements should start from where your first line end you see what i'm saying this place shouldn't be part of your measurement that one one inch you took shouldn't be part of your measurement okay so you're going to mark your shoulder mine is not cut together okay if you want to do yours cut together it's fine but mine is not cut together because i want to use the lining then, then draw your shoulder slope and how long you want your neck depth to be for the neck width i used three okay for the neck width i used three inches three inches is perfect then determine how deep you want it to be this is a v line neckline it's a v shaped neckline okay so i'm just drawing my shoulder slope down to the three inches we're using for the neck width okay so I wanted to use 3.5 but I later decided to use 3 that's what I'm just trying to point out here so you can use 3 inches to 3 and a half right it's totally dependent on you so we're going to start all our measurements I'm going to take my chest line which is my armhole area I'm taking across measurements so that I'll have a straight line for our armhole this is a basic body pattern. If you know how to draw basic body pattern, this is exactly what we're doing here. And I have that up on my channel. If you're watching up to this moment, join the family, you will enjoy every bit of it, okay? You will enjoy every bit of being part of this family. Here I'm drawing the armhole. I'm drawing the armhole. If you're coming across my video for the first time please subscribe give this video a thumbs up if there's any way the video is helpful to you share with friends and family okay leave your comments is also very important all right here i'm taking my bust point measurement for my bust point i'm going to take my half length i don't need on that bust for this then i'm taking my tape down to take my hip depth okay you can take your client from shoulder to hip but if not you can do it this way all right just marking out the lines and i'm using this to also mark out the length of my print the length of my fabric which i already marked out while cutting because i've cut it out all right remember that your measurement is going to start from the line you already have for one inch okay it's not starting from the folded edge because you already drew out one inch now i'm taking all of that cross body measurement
Like I said, please, if you notice any sound, I'm really sorry. I traveled to the village, okay? Like you can hear the cock crowing and announcements and all of that. Please totally ignore. Like I said, I'm in the village. So what I have on my hips is the same thing I will take down to the hem of my gown. Alright, I just hope this chalk is visible enough for us to see. Exactly what I have on my hips is what I'm going to take down to the length of my gown, okay? Then just go out and draw the lines to meet each other. If you're watching up to this moment, you like what you're seeing, please subscribe. Follow us. If you're watching from Facebook, please follow us. If you're watching from YouTube, please subscribe. Like, give this video a thumbs up, share our video, and leave your comments. If there's any question you want me to answer, please put it on the comment section. All right, here I just all the dots we have, I just went ahead to you know mark it out, turn everything to a straight line. All right, basically, that is all you need to do. Then you just go ahead and cut everything out. This place, don't cut it out. That one inch, don't cut it. I'll show you when to cut it. Okay. After cutting it out, we'll go ahead and cut the shoulder slope and the neck depth. You will notice how then I cut the neck depth. When I got to the place, I made it a square. You can see it. I did not cut all of them as V. You can see how it looks. Then I'm notching that one one inch. What we're doing here is to notch that one one inch we stepped out with. Okay, you see what we're going to do with that. So we fold now for our back bodies. Okay, making sure that that one inch is not part of what you are going to put you can see we are taking out that one inch which is what we used we removed from the front bodies while cutting for the front slits okay just make sure you remove that one inch then basically every other thing is the same just for the neck we are coming down by one inch you can use 1.5 that's the only difference we have with the back and the front and the one inch we added for slits every other thing is the same okay just go ahead and trace it out okay so we keep the back and we work with the front for the front part we're going to go to the machine and stitch that one inch we marked out but before you do that from this one inch we're going to stitch up to where you want your slit to be so you determine how open you want the slit to be for my client she said she don't want it to be too open so i ended up using around 17 inches you can use more you can use more okay you can use more of that so I'm marking out where my own slit wants to stop, which is determined by you. Then I'm going to sew from beginning to where the slit is going to be, from the slit to the end of the dot, okay? I've gone ahead to sew it. After sewing it, I'm going to tear it open. I'll tear it open this way. Just go ahead and tear it open. If you are still watching up to this moment, which means you like what we are doing. So this is my slit. What I'm going to do now is to fold it in. Okay, I'm going to fold it one, two, using that one inch allowance we had, like half of an inch, and sew it from beginning till the end. I'm sewing mine from beginning to the end. You can sew just only where your slit will be. But I, I sewed my beginning to end just to give it that neat finishing. Okay, I hope you now understand how those that front slit uh, is achieved. You can go ahead and put an interface at the back if you want. 
if you have at the point i was making this video i never had any paper stay so you can go ahead and put a paper stay just for stability when adding your velvet bias okay now just lay down your velvet bias this way use your pin I left quarter of an inch because I'm going to add a lining. Remember I said that. So just go ahead, place it and sew it. After that, you add your lining if you're using a lining. And that's basically all. It's very easy to do and it's something that you can achieve within a few minutes. It's not a difficult task, okay? It's very easy. Just gently line your the velvet bias and pin down as you line it up you pin down making sure that is at the center remember the center is the place we sold right making sure everything is at the center okay if you are still watching up to this moment which means you like what you're seeing what is also for stopping you from subscribing please subscribe and share our videos it's a way of encouraging us to do more follow my youtube channel at chidima favor see you on our next video